we have to talk about this bit. I mean, <laughs> this is some good stuff here. Off the heel, probably going left. That right there is what I call the quadrant of death. Okay. New Fairy Woods from Ping, the G430, both the Max and the SFT. We've got them today, and we've got Kevin Kraft here to hit some shots on TrackMan, and we'll tell you everything you need to know about Ping's new Fairy Woods. Golfers, if you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to the channel, you give this video a like, and you drop a comment and tell us what you think about the Ping G430 Fairy Woods. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahol, the Second Swing Golf, joined by Kevin Kraft, Master Club Fitter at the Columbia Store, the Second Swing. We're at Minnetonka today in the tour van. We are reviewing new Fairy Woods from Ping G430. I've got the SFT, you've got the Max. So yep. uh, that's actually one change we should probably start talking about right away, is no LST model. Um, yep. We got the Max, which probably then is going to kind of take over or maybe kind of, um, you know, start serving those players that need that maybe lower spin because the max is going to provide that type of performance too. I am interested to see what what the spin rates are yeah. with this because, you know, with, with ping, we've got pretty thin faces, right? Yeah. Designed to help get that ball up in the air. Right. Um, that LST served a purpose for somebody that mm -hmm. wanted a driver replacement kind of kind yeah. of thing. Um, something like I would use potentially, yeah. uh, but you know, uh, we don't have it for 2023. So we'll see exactly what, what this is doing. Mm -hmm. Ping obviously feels very confident that this club will, will ser serve, you know, right. the vast majority of people, right. including those that are looking for, you know, for a little bit stronger fairway wood. Right, so, exactly. Yeah. yeah, that's, I know I play the, actually, I played the G425 LST in my bag. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to be curious on my own, uh, I guess my own time to test yeah. what I have versus uh, the G430 yeah. Max. But um, interesting here, spin consistency. Uh, introduced in G425, it's back again. Yep. A little bit lower loft, uh, low on the face. So if you hit that thin shot, it's not going to spin up a ton and you know get lost in the air a little exactly. bit like um, you may have seen on maybe other manufacturers when you mm -hmm. have one low on the face. It just kind of that performance really drops, and I think that's their this is their method of trying to reduce that effect. Well, if you think about fairway woods and hybrids the primary misses for most players is going to be a little bit thin. Mm -hmm. So they've addressed that. Uh, they're doing their best to, to mitigate that that extra spin, uh, enough so that they threw it into the max driver this they year. They did. So, they did. Um, obviously, it's 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 definitely working, and that's, mm -hmm. a, that's a great thing. And then the, the kind of the wrap technology. So there's, there's yep. the kind of the carbon fly wrap and then face wrap. And so the way, the, the, the way they're doing this, they got the face kind of wrapping th around it, a little bit into the crown, a little bit down, mm -hmm. kind of below into the sole, um, in, increasing that face flexing, really mm -hmm. trying to add some explosiveness there. Uh, and then we, I, what I like a lot about the G430 Max, for example, all the lofts offered. Uh, so something to note, you have three, five, seven, and nine woods. Mm -hmm. So those lofts are 15, 18, 21, 24. And then in the SFT, you have three lofts as well, which are actually a little bit different they're 16, 19, and 22. So yep. you're adding a degree of loft with these, with the SFT and each kind of, uh, I guess, numerical uh, set, if you will. So a little bit more launch capabilities with this SFT Correct. for maybe those players that just need a little bit more help getting that ball into the air off yep. the turf, which can be a big challenge for golfers. It can, definitely. Uh, if you think about it, the, the more loft you have, the easier it is to square a golf club up. Mm -hmm. So going up just a degree in yeah. those SFTs mm -hmm. is going to help get the ball up. And then we should also mention the, the hosel, the ping trajectory yep. tuning 2.0. A lot of settings um, that I know you're really excited about as a fitter. They've Always. been using this hosel now for a few generations, yep. I believe. And, yep. Um, been really an effective one for sure. It has. Um, you know, the ability to go a little bit flatter for better players or yep. for those who have, you know, too much trouble with turning the ball over a little too much, just fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, loft settings, I can dial, dial a 15 degree three wood up to 16.5, down right. to 13.5. So there's there's a lot of playability mm -hmm. in there to, to dial somebody exactly where they need to be. Well, we got a track man. We've got golf ball to hit. You ready to hit? Sounds like a plan. <laughs> All right, Kevin, G430 Max now. Yep. Um, tell me what you see at address there. And I guess I have a vantage point that's not the same as yours. I'm over yeah. here but it seems like it's pretty clean looking club. Clean is exactly where I was going. Um, fairway woods don't have the turbulators. Yeah. So you've got a very nice, smooth, yeah. clear, clean top line. 
Uh, love the look of the carbon fiber on the back side of this dry, this mm -hmm. fairway wood. Um, we got a very small little uh, alignment aid here yeah. on the top. Um, kind of understated, just really nice and simple. It yeah. looks very very pleasing. How about this like size of the the footprint there? Is it so? Is it, it's is a, it, I'm it's asking a, because there is no LST, so I'm kind of seeing it. Did they? they do you, does it feel like without? I guess we know we're not seeing the G425 Max, but yeah. does it feel like it's a little bit more compact or no? I wouldn't say so. Okay. I mean, it, it's it's a decent sized footprint. It doesn't look oversized. Yeah. But it also doesn't look like, you know, some of the more compact, yeah. like, uh, you know, maybe something deeper face designed yeah, to launch right. lower yeah, or anything sure. like that. So, I mean, it's. I, I just think it looks really, really solid. Mm -hmm. um, it sets up really square. Yeah. No, no bias one way or the other, uh, which is kind of what I would expect from the Max since it's designed to fit as many people as possible. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm I'm really pleased with it. I think Ping's done a great job with their design. Uh, I love the matte crown. Yeah. Oh, same. All that mm -hmm. looks. All that just looks really, really good. So if it hits as good as it as it looks, we'll be in really good shape here. Yeah. Pretty good. Okay. Pretty good. Good start. That's uh, 149. It's quite a lot of ball speed coming off a of fairway wood, I think. Yeah. Um, yeah, it is. Trajectory was a little low there. Yeah. Okay, which automatic right there immediately makes me think maybe there isn't really a need for an LST. Sure. We'll yeah. see. We're, we're only one yeah. swing it. Yeah, so, let's, so let's see. That felt good. Sound was good. Oh, yeah. Over 150 again. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Similar shot. A little bit more spin. There, yeah. But yeah. And then still pretty good. One thing too, I think, just to, to I mean, I hear a pretty solid sound, mm -hmm. right? And maybe you would disagree, but I feel like the ping fairy woods, the, the sound hasn't really been the issue there. It's Correct. been more in the in the driver. It really has right? been in the driver. In, ter it in really terms has of what people driver. like the yeah. your people you're working with in fittings are in feedback. You don't really get the negative feedback from the fairy woods in the past. Correct. Okay. Correct. I would agree with that. A little hanger, okay. See, that one just sounded a little bit more yeah. powerful. Yeah. So, a little more club head speed. Mm -hmm. Smash factor is still kind of down there. It didn't really feel like a did not really feel like a big miss. Okay. Um, got a little more height out of it. Yeah. Carry came up a bit. I love seeing. 256 carry. Yeah, that is, that's, uh, and that's, that's 280s. A, that's awesome. a really good poke right there. Yeah, yeah. Um, for a guy that wants uh, something to be a potential driver replacement, mm -hmm. you know, this is set stock at 15 right. degrees. Right, if you're able to lower that to 13 and a half. Yeah, absolutely. Then you start chasing out maybe 10 more yards potentially and. Wouldn't bother me. <laughs> that one was ripped. Yeah, that was, that was mushed. That one was ripped. Look at there that, 250 carry. And then, I mean, you're, you're not, it's, that's one too that if you need to go after your green in two on a par five or something, yeah, you're having a, you know, your landing angle at 41 gives you the chance to keep that on the green. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I mean, coming in 102 feet, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. Yeah. That was, that one was hit. I mean, I'm surprised it's 4.8 versus 4.950. Yeah. It felt dead solid. Yeah. Just had that little extra, like, oh, you really got this one feel to <laughs> yeah. it. It was nice. It's good that you have that feedback from that club, even. Yes, you know? absolutely. I mean, yeah, I want a club. I, I want to know where I hit it. Yeah. Right. Um, I suppose I wouldn't care if it went the same place all the time. If you could, <laughs> if you could hit it anywhere across the right. base and it went the same place. Yeah. I maybe probably maybe care, someday in golf club technology, maybe. we'll get off the heel, probably going left. There we okay. go. Okay. Thirty-eight hundred. Well, see, the spin isn't like because you had a thirty-six hundred, not. Yeah. A couple shots ago. Yeah. Um, obviously, the smash being a little bit lower, so I yep. kind of dropped these numbers a little bit. Yep. Um, but your carry was in the mid 245 or the mid kind of 240s to like 250. Yeah. So it's not like it wasn't an egregious drop. No, it wasn't. Um, and then you have, I mean, you have another 145. The ball here. speed drop really wasn't that bad. So no, for, it really, for wow, a miss I hit that was, that was clearly even, in the yeah, heel. I did not even see that. So. That's yeah. So you're down and in the okay. heel there. That right there is what I call the quadrant of death. <laughs> okay. Uh, all the guys in the shop in Columbia make fun of me because they always hear me talking about the quadrant of death. The quadrant Anything of death. Anything caught heel side of center 
tends to spin more. Yeah. Anything caught low side of that center, the horizontal center, yep. tends to spin more. Subsequently, low heel, quadrant of death. And so what we're seeing then is spin consistency mm -hmm. in the G430 Max 3 wood will help you alleviate the issues if you hit the ball in the quadrant of death. Yes, it will. <laughs> the Absolutely. quadrant of death. So because that, I mean, it was it was your highest spinning shot, yeah. sure, but by 200 yeah. RPM yeah. Uh, on one you hit good earlier. Totally acceptable. So that's, yeah, that's totally acceptable. And, yeah. and it might not be, you know, on the green per se, if you're going for the green for 250, right. but if you hit it off the heel, you probably shouldn't be on the green. Correct, <laughs> correct. So, you do still have to hit these shots yeah. solid, right? Yeah, so yeah. Um, I, I mean, this is some good stuff here. Yeah. This is some good stuff. So there's the shot, yep. right? I mean, we're, we're, if we're looking at this 260 line, just a little bit short on total yeah. distance. But really, I mean, it, you're not missing a lot there. Nope. No. So the SFT now, um, let's try that one. Okay. We're going to see some of that maybe draw bias potentially here. All right. So do you see, do you see draw bias with this? Uh, yes. Oh, you do? Okay. I do. Yeah. Um, this one looks flatter okay okay it looks like a golf club that even though the both of both the the max and the sft have a a pretty shallow face mm -hmm. this one looks flat yeah all the way across it's a different shape it's yeah. a little more roundy okay it's kind of um, like someone stepped on the g430 max i was trying to avoid saying that yeah i mean well it yes just stepped on it and kind of like resulted in a little bit more step down but also some weight in that heel that yes see. and the face to me looks shut okay so this is the first one where where i've stood over it and thought so, okay this is which this is gonna go and well. i think there's probably some players out there that when they get a draw bias club they actually want to see that thing appear to be draw bias like they, they sometimes oh, want to see that 100 percent. and there's some that want it hidden completely yeah. So there's probably a give so and take there. The vast majority of the golf world steps up to a golf ball and goes, I have no chance of squaring this up. And they do this, right? So if they're doing this, yeah. they're not going to be off put by a golf club that has a very slight <laughs> yeah. bit of, of left tilt yeah. to it. So, I mean, this is, this is designed, this is a purpose built machine right here it is designed to help you mm -hmm. get the ball up and get that ball yeah. not going right. If, mm -hmm. if not turning left, at least not yeah. going right. So let's see how far this pancake flies. There's a draw. There is a draw. A little more spin, mm -hmm. which I think we would expect. Yeah, some more spin. I mean, this took off a little low, but I think. Yeah, it's got another degree aloft, so that's not uh, not surprising. Oh, that one took off way higher. That's going to be about 100 feet in the air. 121 feet in the air. That's more of what I was expecting to see. Yeah, I that one think I hit that one bit. just a little bit more solid. Yeah. I might have been down in the in the spin consistency zone on that first and the, one. Uh, and the quadrant of death on that first I one. I don't think it was in the quadrant of death, but I, it think was it was, below the I think it was equator? a little low. Yeah. Okay. So spin rate stayed... But look at that. Almost, almost <laughs> exactly the same. It's almost the same. Okay, which is great. It's consistency. Yep. What do you think of that one? I like that one. I got it started on a good line. Um, what was the impact on that one? Because it sounded just a tad different, and I don't know if that was just me hearing something or if it was... thought it was pretty good. Okay. It felt pretty good. The smash factor doesn't look that great, which I don't know. I don't, under, I don't necessarily understand without seeing where the impact location was. Well, that's just, that's just for the fun of it. Let's dive in. Okay. I mean, I, mean I, I, thought it was, I thought it was pretty good. 144 seems pretty harsh for right I, I, I agree. <laughs> I totally agree. Trackman is demanding more out of you. <laughs> Your expectations are too high for me. <laughs> oh, that was ripped. Yeah, okay, we have to talk about the spin. I mean, <laughs> we have to because... <laughs> 139 rpm so variance on a fairway wood. I, just for fun i know this wasn't even like a bad shot but yeah. just for fun okay <laughs> <laughs> 18 on the variance there. 18 um but 38 55 38 yeah. 18 38 and also i'm gonna just try something see the impact location on mm -hmm. each of them as if it's different we don't get that one on this one but yeah. we got couple one center one a little bit more towards the towards the heel 
and this one was dead center. Yeah. More or less, a little bit more or less, but slightly below the equator. You're seeing, I mean, that is some seriously consistent spin. Yeah. That we're seeing from the SF or the SFT model. That's really good stuff. Anytime you see good consistency on a head shaft combination, whether it's irons, whether it's wedges, yeah. whether it's driver fairway wood hybrids, that's a, a great thing to focus in on because that just means that your results are going to be more and more consistent mm -hmm. right? one after another after another. Yeah. And that's, that's what a player wants, right? Most, pe most people that come in to, for a fitting, what do we want to achieve out of a new golf club? I need more consistency. Okay. Well, more consistency is sometimes hard to create, mm -hmm. right? But if manufacturers are able to find ways, spin consistency, yeah. to create some, even one, one area that is more consistent, right? Play people will play better. Right. So that's right. awesome. Yeah, Absolutely I think awesome. really good performance here, and I think it was. I mean, we we saw enough from the SFT. Like, it has a draw bias. Yep. It launches it higher, spins it. A little bit more, but also yep. more consistently. Yeah. I mean, there you go. There you what go. else do you need? All right, Mr. Kraft, testing complete. The Ping yeah. G430 Fairy Woods. Uh, we found some really cool things. And, you know, you can't say spin consistency five times fast, but... I can't say it once we'll, fast. We'll, we'll say it a bunch more here with the Fairy Woods moving yeah. forward, not just in the rest of this video, but yeah. also throughout the year, probably in your fittings and stuff, because yeah. consistent spin was the name of the game with yeah. these, both in the Max and the SFT. I think the testing showed that. Yes, absolutely. Um, both models were, were very, very good. They feel fantastic. Sounds really good. Ball speeds are great. Mm -hmm. um, Trajectory is good. I mean, we've got a nice shallow face on both, designed to get the ball in the air. Uh, guess what? These clubs did exactly what they yeah, were supposed to do. That's good. That's right? always a good that's, thing. That's exactly what I'm looking for. So, so let's yeah. let's. I know we talked a little bit about it maybe at the beginning and then it kind of threw out uh, while we we're hitting shots. But yeah. let's kind of summarize again. Players that would be best to kind of play each of these models. You know, we'll start with the Max, which I know you alluded to earlier was they were going for kind of the widest range of yep. players with this. One. Absolutely. Uh, pretty much anybody could play this. Mm -hmm. um, somebody that needs a little bit more, a little more help getting the ball up, a little mm -hmm. more help either fighting the right side or yeah. bringing the left side in, the, the SFT is definitely yeah. going to be the way to go. Mm -hmm. um, the only, I guess the only major issue I had was the SFT specifically looks yeah. a little bit closed. Mm -hmm. And so f to my eye, again, everything falls to aesthetics. Yeah. Uh, I had a little bit more of a hard time with the SFT. But yeah. That's also not the, the model that I would typically play. So mm. um, right. you know, those who are looking for that correction yeah. probably are used to seeing something that maybe is just slightly shut. Right. So, mm -hmm. you know, that's, I don't see that as, right. as being an issue. Yeah. And, and the we, numbers off that were awesome. Oh, they were awesome. And we also did see the spin increase as well, which yes. is important to yes. know. Yeah. I mean, you have the extra loft yep. on there with the three wood at one more degree to 16, but then we saw the spin go up by 450 RPM mm -hmm. for you, which, and it was also super consistent. So yep. I think the SFT is gonna fit players that you know might also just struggle a little bit, getting that sure. ball off the turf, Absolutely. right? Um, they're gonna get an extra loft with that, or a little extra loft and then extra launch yes. as well, yes. more spin, get that ball in the air. So yep. two models here from Ping, I think they're pretty good results from the test, right? Stamp approval from you? Yeah, absolutely. I, I was pleasantly surprised that the numbers off the max were such that you know the lst may not be really missed yeah um especially with some tunability in here and, mm -hmm. and with some different shaft options i mean the tour 2.0 is going to be a pretty good low mid launching shaft yeah. pretty low spinning uh with some other options that could right. potentially drive it down even a little bit more um it could very well be a good weapon off mm -hmm. the tee and certainly certainly will be coming into the greens absolutely absolutely well kevin thank you for joining golfers you know what to do schedule your fitting at second swing for a ping g430 fairywood either the max or sft uh one of them is going to be able to help you play better golf so kevin thanks again great stuff today Pleasure. great insight um it was fun to watch awesome love it